friends that I look like I went to war when I did go to war. I went to war with the 2000 F 150 trying to get the motor mounts. You're gonna get banged up, bruised up, greased up. That's the way it goes. I'm thinking I got bad motor mounts here. You can see from my photo and video here, it's pretty bad. I think that's where most of the vibration is coming from. Tinker and Tom back again on YouTube. I'm gonna do the motor mount and the transmission mount on a 2000 F-150. Getting some pretty bad vibrations here. I got a list of things I'm gonna remove before I uh, lift the engine on the bell housing. I'm gonna wanna take off the EGR valve. Cause this bracket right here is probably gonna bump. Oop, right here is gonna probably hit the firewall. That throttle body must be far enough. Um, some of these cables might be stressed. So I might take off the throttle cable. Someone said to do that. And the fan might hit inside so might just take off the fan cover there and that's about it and then i gotta get to the bolts after i take off the wheels and jack it up so i'll get back to you so i can do all that all right, all right so i removed both battery terminals this was going to cause a little stress on this maybe um, throttle cable came off, you gotta pull it forward and slide this thing, um, pull this back, kind of tilt that forward and then slide it back towards you. This one also, you gotta pull this back and then slide this forward to unclip it right there. And then I just removed that. Okay. On to the EGR. Alright, we see if we can get away here with just taking the bracket off. Right here. Uh, maybe I can get away with just taking that off. And it won't hit the firewall. That's going to hit the firewall. This one. Just removing the vacuum lines off the EGR. The green was on the top. And the red one went down there. For the red. So you don't forget. Red goes down there. Green up top. These were 10 millimeter. I'm going to take them off. Okay. Not doing that one. I'm going to do some of these cables. So we can get a better view of what's going on. This fan, fan, fan shroud, and then uh, cover, and then this. I think that should be it. Move on to the fan shroud. I think I'm gonna need to make sure I take out the dipstick tube. Might be in the way. <sighs> Anyways, I got 
the things here. So the little ones have to come off. The red one came off the top there. And then this bottom one goes on the bottom rod here that sticks out with the two piece bit. to take out the starter so I can get a lot more room right here I can try to get this bolt 15 or 16 I can't remember I think it was 15 now I got all this access that I didn't have before all right it took me about an hour to figure this out I had every other bolt loose in there on the motor mount but this one down there was so stubborn I had to sneak a one fork drive down there which doesn't give you much leverage at a weird angle just to break it loose and I had to put all my strength in. once you know the motor is up I'm just trying to figure out how to get the thing actually out I'm not hitting anything yet This is loose. Right here. Some motor mount. It's about to come out. Got the bolts loose from the uh, transmission recorder. This is what the universal socket. So you get it this close and that's where it gets hard lifting the motor because it starts to pinch stuff underneath and up top. But I have the whole bracket loose as you can see and it's collapsed. That's the condition of them. So I'm trying to get this out so I can get this last side done. Wish me luck. All right, this uh, caused me a lot of headaches. There's a passenger side. It's pretty difficult to get out. You gotta get that much clearance to even think about getting it out. I'll show you. Motor's jacked up pretty high. not touching though that's good the problem is when you lift it like I did at the angle I did to do it sometimes the bolts get out of alignment right here on the transmission mount so when you put it back down you have to make sure the bolts feed back through those holes as you can see it's not lined up it's off-center but that's basically what you have to do. You have to have the motor off center a little bit to be able to get it out. I think it's vice versa for the other side. No one really puts this on YouTube, so I'm just showing you guys how I got it out. There's the mount. Tinker and Tom, please hit subscribe, like on YouTube. Peace. Be careful when you're lifting the motor. Sometimes it might start to pull it off the jack a little bit right there it's kind of sketch i have to watch that and so i'm putting that under there in case besides the full and this is totally off center so i'm gonna have to get the motor to scoot over and drop the bracket in. okay that goes there and then the bracket slides onto that 
thing right there. It's on the other side, I think. The bracket it holds. That's upside. It goes the other way. This goes this way. Careful with your eyes because it's shit for me sometimes. I got glasses. <laughs> Alright. So like this goes. Takes out two bolts. Bam. Take this out, comes off first. Be careful, don't hit yourself. This comes out next. Tingering Tom, back at it. 2000 F-150, you got the partner Manny. Manny the man. Andy, Manny the man. Handy Manny. Tingering Tom, hit like or subscribe. Peace.